indigenous peoples who have been marginalized for so long. The majority of our communities are living on the front line of climate change. In Madagascar, we face severe floods, cyclones that get more and more uh, intense. Northern Kenya and Southern Kenya. In some areas, it has not rained for 10 and a half years. In the United States, a number of fisheries that have collapsed. The Philippines is the center of all sorts of disasters. So millions. If you look at the indigenous peoples, we're only 6% of the global population, but we protect most of biodiversity. Our role as indigenous people has been that we've never really separated ourselves from that larger community. Of the environment. We need to go back to understanding that indigenous knowledge is not static. We've got new tools available to us, so it's evolving. And that's why it's important to have indigenous people here, because they bring these different approaches. Nobody knows their reality better than the people that have the problem, right? So it's our responsibility to teach people who don't know that knowledge what it's all about. Well, most Gurindji would think about our land as the place where we belong. We don't think that it belongs to us. We think we belong to it. We were custodians of the land, and we're still custodians of the land. We've got a nursery that propagates seeds from the Mount Sandy properties. We're trying to grow back the plants that come from that space. We help things like the wetlands, which provides a space for migratory birds, but also the fish life. You're involved in a whole ecosystem. It's what we were always meant to be and do. A lot of Aboriginal people now have the opportunity to be financed to care for country. Essa técnica de semeadura direto, ela já existia e ela foi adaptada para nossa realidade, o que chamamos de muvuca de sementes. Historicamente, culturalmente, as mulheres são as guardiãs da cultura. Então, são elas que vão para a mata fazer a coleta de sementes e, posteriormente, o beneficiamento. E consiste no estudo de olhar dentro dessa área que precisa ser restaurada. Quais eram as espécies que estavam ali e que precisam voltar para aquele ambiente? As mulheres de Yarangue, elas já têm essa consciência de que elas têm um papel muito importante, não só para a comunidade indígena, do povo delas, mas sim para o povo indígena e para o mundo. Né? The land is so important that when we're putting a project on, it's very important to us to establish a relationship with the First Nation in whose territory that project is going to be placed. We approached them very early on, before we'd even had a full design, and uh, asked how they would like to work with us. 
Well, the Squamish Nation, you know, we always talk about the land is the culture and the culture is the land. We live off the land. We sat down and we, we talk about the grizzly bear habitat. We talk about the fishery, you know, the spawning. I know that they're going to take care of it for our nation. Talked about employment, training, education, naming, recognition, and bringing revenue for the nation. The benefits to the Squamish Nation of this project were not only a royalty that they will earn from our revenues every year, but also employment and contracting. To go through a cultural understanding and having that committee together avoids a cultural misunderstanding. Part of this um, restorative narrative is, is understanding um, the knowledge that has come from the past and the people that have come before us, and also seeing the value and importance of, of modern society and, and the tools that are available to us today. We want knowledge transfer, you know. We don't want only money. Money is important. Finance is important, you know, to face the climate change effect. But it's not enough. We need the technologies, processes, good practices to be transferred. So that's what we are talking about. The inequality has to be addressed because it is indigenous peoples with our ways of protecting uh, the land that we have the remaining biodiversity. And if we lose biodiversity, then we also lose humanity.